All right, here we are with Spencer Terry and this How's it going? amazing beast of a van. Let's check it out. So this is a 2009 Ford E350 Super Duty Extended Edition. Beefy. Uh, it's the same chassis as a Ford F350. Got some really good clearance. Good beefy tires. BF Goodrich KO2 tires, which have plenty of life left on them. Um, yeah. Those are nice. And out of experience, how does that do four wheeling? Awesome. It's a two wheel <laughs> drive van. Uh, a conversion for this van is about $30,000, so I chose not to do that and just get good tires. Um, and as you, as you know, Blaine, we've taken this tons of great places. Back country. That you would not expect it to be able to get to. Uh, that's one of the reasons I chose this has the 5.4 liter V8 engine, which is the same engine they've used in these vans for 20 years. Very reliable, easy to fix. Um, haven't had any problems with it. Uh, I love it because it's low key. Uh, doesn't look like a whole lot. You can kind of see the uh, Reflectix uh, insulation that I have in the windows. That helps a lot, doesn't it? I have the back windows blocked out. And so, when I have the lights on inside, um, you really can't see any light shining through. Which that's is really awesome. nice. It's low key. So these are blacked out. Yeah, as you'll see inside, this is uh, covered by some cabinet cabinetry work I put in here. Uh, this is right above the sink. And then what do you got going up top? Uh, roof rack, 160 watt Zamp solar panel let's get up there and take a look nice and how does that do for just running your everyday electric oh it's great uh, no issues and i did put in as you'll see i put in a i had a lead acid battery at first uh, two six volt lead acid batteries and switched to a 12 volt agm battery uh, doesn't spill doesn't need to be filled um, a little more compact and runs everything great. All my lighting's LED uh, and inverter runs fine off of it. So it's just a little but easier to maintain, basically. My favorite part about this van is when I tell everyone, "Oh, I have a camper van," and I'm like, "Oh, that's kind of cool." And then I open the door. Oh man, this is gorgeous. And so right here I have two separate sets of LED lights on dimmer switches. <laughs> set the mood. Set the mood. If you really want to be set in the mood, you got some nice oh, LED man. track lighting. Oh, that's so beautiful. So you get these dimmed down nice and low or maybe off. It just feels good. Feels like a little cabin. Um, this is a memory foam mattress. It's amazing. Will fit two people. Uh, it's nice. Super comfy, super cozy. Keeps you extra warm uh, when it's cold out. Yeah, that it would be extra insulation, yeah. huh? Just gorgeous. What is it? What do you do to get some space in here? So uh, if I'm just hanging out during the day, I have a switch down here. Up she goes. So I hooked up an ATV winch to lift this bed up. Switches right there. Nice. Let's take a look. Oh, that's so sweet. It's a little dark in here. Let me. Let's turn out the lights. Beautiful, man. That's such a good idea. Show me how that works. So we got storage under all of this. This is storage. Got storage here. Got everything in here has a purpose, a place. So storage all in there. Storage, and this just folds out these two hinges right here. Boom! And a nice little spot to sit. Nice. And that's where you had your Apple station so in there. So if you look back here, inside you got your closet. 
got your little space for hanging clothes, jackets, whatever. And then right here, you actually have a TV mount. Got a cord already hooked up to it. It'll be easy to wire in a new TV. Um, I had my iMac hooked up to it, and it worked out great. Yeah. And then you got an outlet right here. Yep. A 110 volt outlet hooked up to the uh, inverter in the back, which I will show you in a moment. What about this? How does this all work? Sync with a rocket pump faucet. All you got to do is crank this back and forth, shoots water out. Underneath here, you got your clean water tank, your gray water tank, and I have a little five pound propane tank for this, which when I lived in here for six months, I never ran out. That's and amazing. I use the stove all the time. That's amazing. <laughs> got rooms for some of my food supplies. I'd keep my like spices and stuff up here. Pots and pans. And mostly my pans worked really well right up in there. That's nice. And they all got magnets on them, right? Uh, all these. Uh, all my bigger cabinets have cabin doors. Magnets, magnets so they don't so just they don't fly open. open. Yeah. Let's see it right down in here. Oh, nice. That makes and sense. So, I mean, it, it, they don't pop open anymore. Oh, let's see. This is where the Yeti cooler goes, which I will include with it. So it's right in here. Oh, slides sweet. right so out. It slides out. Yep. You, you can, can open, open it up. up. Yeah. And then keep it out of the way. It's very unassuming. Yep. That's nice. And that's on a track? Yep. That's sweet. Um, uh, all of... Well, I'll show you in the back. Okay. So you this you. is your little doorway. And all of the curtains in here work the same way. It's a two-layer two layer system. Nice. Just slides down. I added the Reflectix in here to really in increase the insulation. And it's tight too, you can tell um, you got it nice and tight. These walls here are solid. <laughs> uh, they're all insulated, all the walls are insulated with one inch of polyisofoam. And the ceiling and the floor have two inches. Yeah, the floor, you went massive on that Yep, it's the same as the ceiling here. Uh, and then Reflectix on all the open surfaces to increase thermal insulation to reduce radiant heat loss. And now you slept in this thing, lived in it. Where were you at and what I, was the temperature? I was a ski instructor up in Winter Park, Colorado. I slept in this all winter. Um, coldest I've been in this van is in about negative 10 degrees. I mean, it, cold. it got chilly that night for sure. But on average in Winter Park, it was probably anywhere from uh, negative 5 to 15 degrees, 20 degrees at night. Um, I had a 15 degree sleeping bag that I usually slept in unzipped. Um, and you a, had that little heater, right? I had a little propane buddy heater. It's about this big. It runs off a single like Coleman stove propane heater. I'd run it for about 10 or 15 minutes before I went to bed. Put it right at the foot of my bed here. Crawl into my sleeping bag nice and warm. And I never really woke up cold. I'd wake up in the morning, turn it on, get back in bed for a minute until everything warmed up in here, climb back out, cook my breakfast, get ready to go. For so that one heat with all this crazy insulation basically kept you warm all through the night. Yeah. And, and then... even though that there is air between this wall and the front right when i would climb into the front of the van in the morning it would be 15 degrees colder wow just in the front of the van wow that's a, that's a big difference 25 30 degrees colder than that oh this insulation is gorgeous too that was a smart move to go with that some rubber there right. yeah that works great when you're climbing in it's kind of snowy so then you got, <clears throat> you got hold on you got this is LVT flooring. Uh, it's all one single piece, pretty waterproof, uh, super durable. Um, my good friend, who's a professional flooring installer, actually helped me with this. Uh, Looks good, super durable. Yeah, nice rubber flooring right here for stepping in. Uh, if you're in your ski boots or anything like that, you don't have to worry about slipping. I've done yeah, it once or twice. <laughs> Get in and out here with my ski boots on. This is the front. Um, I installed, as you can see up top here, there's LED lights on the side, on either side on that roof rack. Super bright. Ridiculously bright. 
to drive like a grandma. I keep it under 65, but it works out great. Yeah. I just get to enjoy the ride more. Yep. Um, inside here, I installed a Pioneer DVD. Let me come this Pioneer DVD system with a rear view camera. Yeah, that's sweet. Uh, I won't pop it in reverse right now because I'm in the passenger seat. <laughs> so you can see really well. Bluetooth, yeah. Uh, hooks up with your phone really well, super easy. And if you do ever get like feeling like you want to watch a movie up here, you can does actually play DVDs. That's so, so slick. Nice. But so rear hopefully view camera. you'll just have you'll just have your TV hooked up in the back. You can chill on the couch or lay on the comfy bed and, and watch it. Yeah. So we'll go to the back of the van. Let's check it out. It's part in the mess of the outside of my van. I work as a ski instructor still. Uh, and this being my only vehicle right now, it gets a little dirty on the road, so sorry. Yeah, this still is looks my good. solar setup right here. Uh, you got the, it's all a ZAMP system, the ZAMP solar char charge controller. It's a, a five step charge system rather than a standard three step so it does a trickle charge a little better and keeps the battery a little healthier nice um got your entire fuse box right here for everything all the lights that uh atv winch right there um all hooked up yep so basically you got power everywhere you go yep. and it still charges when there's dim light even too. when it's cloudy yeah these are uh one of the reasons I went with this setup was uh, these guys have actually taken this over to Denver, these uh, solar panels, and put them out during like these big hailstorms, and they don't break. Yeah, I think it has like a 20-year warranty, so if yeah. that's a concern, it needn't to be. Yeah, um, that's awesome. Got a 600-watt continuous power pure sign inverter. Uh, it's a higher quality inverter. Uh, it doesn't hurt your battery as much and it'll handle things yeah uh, it won't handle a microwave necessarily but if you ever wanted to you got a spot for an extra battery here yeah you can just throw another uh, one in. and get a different inverter and just plug it in right there no problem yeah i don't know too many guys that would need a microwave got a nice little reading light back here for your bed or if you're sitting out here in the back getting changed uh you know, maybe set up a little seating area when you're camping and you just want to have a little light. This is a great That's cool. light for that. Uh, one of my favorite features, two favorite features in here, is the ability to control the temperature when it gets warm. Uh, up here, you have an AC vent. So this was a 15-passenger van at one point. So it did have the rear AC, which I piped in. Uh, the AC comes out here. And you'll notice right up there, there's a small circular vent. And the heat will come out there. That's all controlled from the front. Uh, works good when the car is on. You can start cooling it down or heating it up before you get in the back. Uh, if you're driving to you know, your next ski area or something. Uh, when the car is not on, up here I have a, a vent. It is a fantastic vent is what it's called. Um, Two-way vent. So you can push air or pull air in. It's situated right over the bed. So when it's hot out at night, you just open that vent, turn that fan on. Um, usually in the middle of the summer, uh, I'll have it on for most of the night. Uh, usually I'll get a little cool. I have to turn it off. And it doesn't pull hardly anything. No, it's like a three amp. Yeah. Uh, maybe one and a half amp. That's a very, very low draw. Um, and it's great when you wake up in this thing and it's 80 degrees outside. It's not like anything like being in a tent where you wake up and it's so hot, you have to get out. It's still nice and cool inside, keeps the temperature well. It's like a cave, basically. It feels great, yeah. Yeah. Um, all of these windows, so here, how all these windows work. 
This has a little Velcro right here to keep it down. Of course, these little pins. So, you can enjoy your view, you can have your privacy, uh, keep the temperature more controlled inside how you wish. And it's amazing how much that reflectors makes a difference. Just the, the times I've been with you, it's amazing the difference when you put that up. Yeah. Um, inside these two drawers, just a little bit more storage. This shelving. Yeah. And this one, a little more shelving. And you can see the box where I had to build around the vent right there, which it is accessible if anything were ever to happen to it. You could work on it and get to it. Yeah. And That's smart. Close that up right there. I got two so I installed two switches for this bed. Oh, I don't know if you noticed my nice poster I Yeah, I saw that. That is changeable. You can take that frame out and change the poster if you want. That's cool. To match, you know, whatever national park you're visiting. That's really cool. Uh, right up in front, you might have seen it earlier in the video, in front of that wall up there. And back here I have two fire extinguishers. Nice. In here, I have actually a USB and a 12 volt charging port. Oh, no uh, way. Like a cigarette lighter port. So you can charge your phone. Or... So that comes up right here. Uh -huh. And once I lower the bed. So the switch is in there. No, there's actually a switch right there. Okay. That's so awesome. Boom. So if you look right up here, there's the switch to turn on and off that power port right there. Um, I did the USB for your phone. You put your phone cord in there. We'll pull right up through here and feed that through. I did the cigarette lighter port um, because I actually had a uh, heated seat pad. Mm. So if I ever got way too cold at night, I could come back here, plug that in, and put it under me. Ah, oh, that's uh, brilliant. But I actually got, never got cold enough at night to do it. So That was a good but idea, though. That's a great option. Yeah. Um, yeah. Full tow hitch, tow setup. Uh, it'll tow, I think it's up to about 6,000 pounds. Yeah, pretty much like a truck. Yeah. I can absolutely testify that this felt like a truck going up the mountains did not have any challenges, really. Yeah. It was amazing. All of the doors are insulated as well with, I believe it's a half inch of polyiso foam. That's right. Uh, underneath this wood, same as with the sliding door. So insulation and, everywhere. Yeah, that was a big key component for me is I wanted to stay warm. Yep. Um, be comfortable. Or keep your cool. Or stay in cool the summer. in the summer, yeah. Yeah. So. Ah, it's so pretty. I love all the wood. Yeah, I, uh. What kind of wood did you use? So this is mostly pine. This is actually beetle kill pine up here. All these cabinets are beautiful blues on yep. it. Um, Gorgeous. And the cabinets are also beetle kill. You can't quite see it. I did like a burn stain on all this. You can see my the burn marks and everything. Um, it's all solid wood. Everything is solid wood. That's one thing I really wanted to do because you see a lot of you know campers and stuff, and it's like a. MDF fiber board uh, with just like a veneer on it and I, I wanted to feel like a mountain cabin. Yeah, and you definitely I pulled that off. It, I pulled it off. Yeah. Um, it it yeah. feels homey in here. It feels like a cabin. It really does. It's, yeah. it's, well, there were a couple days I was like in sick or something or, you know, just needed a break from skiing. And it's actually Tough life. really, yeah, it's super hard. <laughs> it's actually really cozy to just hang out in for a day and, you know, you can make some tea, make your breakfast, make bed for a little bit, get up on the couch. You can watch TV in yeah, there. Watch, yeah, watch some TV. I also have a mount up here. I have, there's a mount in the front for one of these Skosh magic mounts. Ah. Uh, up in the front there. If you don't have this, you should. But I also have one. Right here. Oh, nice. You want to stream something on Netflix. Ah. Something. That's a nice little. 
That's sweet. Thank God for magnets. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, it looks so good. So that is my van. Uh, it is for sale now. I'll attach the links below. Uh, I put a lot of heart and soul into this. Uh, I have tons of pictures. If you want to see more of those, I'm more than happy to share them. Uh, it took me, it was pretty much a full-time thing, and it took me about six months to finish and about 6,000 trips to Home Depot. <laughs> uh, you just, I mean, all the architecture is, is there's no printout for that. There's no, no schematics for how to do square, this. square, everything's curved, and uh, a bit of trial and error, but I was really passionate about it. It is so it. solid. I wanted to make the best product I could, something that's gonna last. Uh, and yeah, I hope to be able to pass this on to someone that uh, can use it to fuel their passion for adventure. Uh, and get to have some unique experiences with their life, so. That's awesome. Van life. Van life. Thanks for watching, guys. There will be pictures at the end of the video and description of everything, price, mileage, all that. Yep. All right, man. All right, take care, guys.